They, lawyers for Wellington millionaire John Goodman argued that the state system for collecting blood samples is flawed. Goodman was convicted last year of DUI manslaughter and the death of Scott Wilson. Ted White was in the courtroom and explains how state investigators are trying to shoot down an appeal. We're at the 4th District Court of Appeals in West Palm Beach. Today, attorneys from both sides had 15 minutes each to argue their case in front of the three judges. John Goodman was not in court today. First, it's our position that the blood collection rule is invalid. It's invalid because the FDLE lacks the delegated legislative authority to regulate blood collection. An attorney for Goodman says the system for collecting blood samples is flawed in the state. They say it is not regulated properly, and the type and size of needle may cause an increase in the alcohol content. They say it could also lead to compromised samples. But an attorney for the Florida Department of Law Enforcement says you can still have a good sample when the blood is clotted. She says blood alcohol level is not affected because they only test whole blood, not serum blood. Goodman, the billionaire polo co founder, is serving a 16 year sentence after he was convicted of DUI manslaughter. In 2010, Goodman's car slammed into another car, killing 23 year old Scott Wilson. Ted White, WPBF 25 News. Now, Goodman had two trials. In the first trial, there was misconduct by a juror. He was then convicted last fall. Another attorney for Goodman will be in court tomorrow to try and get that 16 year prison sentence reduced.